What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Spelling is Hard, an adult spelling show that has us all looking crazy. Except for today's guest. You know why? Because she's a superstar. She's gonna knock it out the park. Ladies and gentlemen, this woman has done everything in Hollywood from produce to direct to acting, casting. She has her own shows on multiple platforms and social media outlets. Please put your hands together for LA's own Miss Tangerine Tommy! That was an amazing intro. See how I, I gave you that? I felt bad because I really don't want to be here and I don't want to do this show. <laughs> and now I feel bad. This is, this is what you do. You got to get your friends to do stuff that they don't want to do. Man. I, I, I figured a couple people didn't want to do it, but oh. because we're good friends. That's she, the only reason she I'm could... here. The only reason. You could have said no, though. I can't say no to you. Yes, you can. I love you. You were in my wedding. I get to, and what he, he loves it. Like, oh, I love what he does with Dougie. He knows that. He loves it. I love what he does with Dougie. Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh, it makes me so happy. She okay. only likes it because I'm like two inches taller than a little tiny. person. It's tiny. And it's, it's funny to her to see a tall little person. That's the only thing she equates to. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Oh my God! You would not believe how many times Cedric asked me to do the Dougie in public. She yes. do the Dougie. I was like, we had a funeral. And then he makes me so happy when he does it. Thank you so much. We're gonna have fun today now. Tangerine Thomas. Yes. One of the things I did not add to your repertoire um, because I want to talk about it right now is comedian. You just recently started like jump. You know I mean, you jumped in head face first. I just did six shows in Tacoma, Washington. You better come Got on. back late last night uh -huh. at a super fun... Nate Jackson. Wait, which camera should I be looking at? I didn't okay. get the camera <laughs> this, tutorial this, before this, the show. This is just... Hey, this I just performed six shows at Nate Jackson's Super Funny Comedy Club in Tacoma, Washington. And it was great. And I took his comedy class. Cause oh, I, Cause nice. you never know what you don't know. And even though I've been doing comedy for four years, mm -hmm. the pandemic took a couple of those years away yes. from me. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go learn some new stuff. So I took his class, did a showcase. Then I featured for Rodney Perry over the weekend. Come on! I'm just, I'm just having fun. I'm in it. I got the last factor this week. Let's go! Hey. Hey, Thomas. Yes. That's great that Nate Jackson hit you back for a show. <laughs> <laughs> He's my frat brother. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to jump in that lane? I know it's not just because you hung around so many of us. Was it something that was always in you, or you just like, well, I think I could do this? I love comedy. Mm -hmm. I love watching bad comedy on TV when I was in high school. You like I, watching the bad comedies? Yes, that's my favorite, because I want to see why they're bombing. I used to love watching white people do comedy yeah. because I just wanted to see like because theirs are so different than ours Yes. and then I started doing sketch comedy mm -hmm. and then my sketch team went from eight people to seven people to four people down to two people and I was like mm. well shit I'm one person away from doing stand up because I'm up here with just another person <laughs> Right. and when he goes to change clothes I'm up here by myself I might as well try it so that's what happened Listen, I feel like we got enough banter out of the way. Everybody's okay. at ease. We're cool. We can slide right into this thing. This is a very fun game. And I promise you, you're going to have fun. If nothing else, you're going to laugh. As a okay. comedian, you're going to love it. Okay. okay. All right? You're going to have a great time Thank with you. this. Thank uh, you. Uh, so basically, we have three rounds. Okay. Right? And then we have a lightning round. Maya's going to instruct us on all of that. Again, as always, we have Maya here as the instructor slash announcer. Hi, Maya. But Hi, before we get started to figure out who's going to pick which category they're going to do that words from, Maya has a quick game for us to determine who goes first. Maya, you want to explain the game? Okay, so this is a five letter word. It is a thing, it's a food, and you're gonna go back and forth guessing a letter until you get the word. Whoever wins this gets to choose the category. Now, nobody has done this yet, but you can also ask for a hint. But if you ask for a hint, that counts as your turn to guess a letter, and if you ask for a hint and I understand the hit, then the next turn is mine, I can get it. But I just want to let you know that you have that at your disposal if you want to ask for a hint. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, Maya, you ready to get going? I'm ready. Tangerine Thomas, you're up first with the first guest. Is there an O? There is no O. Thank you. Let's go with an A. There is an A. It is for a man. It's the second letter? Mm-hmm. And this is a what? This is a food. Food, okay. All right, so you. Yeah. Is there an S? There's no S. Well, it ain't possible. Let's go with an aura. 
There is no R. Okay. Let's go with a T. There is no T. Goodness gracious, this word doesn't exist. <laughs> is there an M? There is no M. Okay, well, I'm out. Jeez Louise, is there a C? There is a C. It is the first letter. And then am I supposed to... No, it's my turn now. ...tell you when I'm ready to get... Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, if, if you get... I thought, I guess, if I don't get it right, then it would be your turn. Okay. okay. Looking at my fingers is really helping me figure this out. So. Is it candy? It is candy. <laughs> I should have said I was ready to get... Wouldn't matter. You already already guessed the letter. It still would have been... <sighs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, CMT. I appreciate that. So, Maya, what are the categories for us to choose from? You can choose either mm -hmm. cars or cheeses. Oh. <laughs> well, I love both of those. I mean, who doesn't love a good Asiago? <laughs> You're so mixed a, a right now. A good monster? <laughs> <laughs> what about Feta? <laughs> I'm going with cars. Because you okay. have so many. How many cars do you have to hear? That's not for my personal business. How I'm many cars there. do you have? I'm just, I'm just I gave, a couple, I gave a couple away. I gave a couple away. He has so many that he gave a couple of away, ladies and gentlemen. I think what gentlemen. you're doing right now is unnecessary. I just That's want them to know how successful these shows have been for you, sir. I Congratulations. Really say that. Congratulations. I bought two of them on accident on eBay. Let's wow. Just, just keep it real. I never accidentally bought a car. You did that twice. Wow. Must be nice. Good luck up there. Stop. <laughs> to hear. Yes. Your first word for the easy round is license. <laughs> it's one of those words where you like, I know it, but then you start and you're like, oh. Okay. Uh, L I C I N C. Mm. Yep, I know. Come sit down. That is incorrect to hear. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh. It's okay. Do you know what it means? I do know what it means, but I'll, I'll still take the, I'll still take the uh, sentence. Okay, the sentence is, she's been driving since she was 16, but she only got her license last week. A license is a proof, a uh, document of some sorts that you are able to control a motor vehicle or other things that need that type of legislation. Proof <laughs> okay. Formal permission from the government. Okay. Ah, oh, what if it was a fishing license or a, or a, a gun license? You didn't. You made it specific to. Okay, whatever. Can I spell it correctly for some points? Not for Not points. Not for no points. I just. Oh, just for fun. Yeah. Giggles. Never mind. What? How do you spell it correctly? It's L I C E N S E. That's what it is. Okay. Take that slow walk of shame back to the chair, brother. Right here. Aww. Tangerine, it's your Thank turn. You. Thank you for that. Yeah, you just only have to do it once, you know? <laughs> oh, we're a team over here. This is cute. You don't need to raise it that high. Okay, you know what? You and your husband both. The disrespect is at an all-time high. Your word for the first round of cheeses is baguette. That's not even a cheese. It's to do with cheese. These categories <laughs> don't go with the category. <laughs> and I'm vegan, this isn't even fair. Hey man, Baguettes you weren't always vegan. vegan. <sighs> now bag it on up to that microphone and spell hey, word. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <I'm not> <laughs> so this is where I spell it, then I ask, a, do I ask you to use the sentence later or now? No, what, I'll spell it first. Spell it first. Baguette. B A G U E T T E. Baguette. Mm -hmm. That is correct. <laughs> now. Good, good job, Tangerine. Oh, thank you so much to hear. I see how much you meant that. Thank you. You're welcome. You'll use this sentence to find the definition. No cheese plate is complete without a baguette. A baguette is like some big ass bread. Um, you can make a sandwich out of it. You can slice it up and put it on a cheese board. You can put the cheese on it. Um, it's a white kind of bread. It's just some bread. It's a, it's carbs. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a French crusty yeah. loaf, yes. Yeah, all that. You better walk. Well, not, well, nothing on that damn seat. <laughs> Success is on this seat. <laughs> Guys, it's still summertime, so it's still time to bring that heat. Look, nothing is more important than a first impression, especially as a first impression when it's grown folk time. Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. If you want to make an amazing and a lasting first impression, I suggest, strongly suggest, you try Blue Chew. Listen, I've been talking about Blue Chew for years. I'm not going to stop now, okay? If, if, it feels like my member has a cape on, if I can say that. That's, that's what I feel like because you have extraordinary sex. I'm not going to I'm not going to celebrate a lot of you people. I would never, never do it again without Blue Chew because it's like once you experience what you can do, why would you ever go back, okay? Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. Now, if you can get the same results and save a little money, why wouldn't you do that? You wouldn't do that, because that don't make any sense. The process is super simple. You sign up at bluechew.com, you consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. And the best part is, da 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 dum it's all done on light. That's right. You don't have to make any trips to the doctor's office. You don't have to wait for the doctor's office to call you back and give you an appointment. None of that. Everything comes to your door in a discreet box. Listen. I'm so excited about this product. I want to hook you up, fellas. Listen to me right now. I'm going to hook you up with a free month trial of Blue Chew. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. You heard, right? A free month of Blue Chew. And all you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. The process is very easy with this as well. Go to bluechew.com. Use the promo code WORDING. That's W-O-R-D-I-N-G at checkout. And all you would do is pay $5 for shipping. One more time, bluechew.com. Use the promo code WORDING. Pay $5 at shipping. Come to your door, discreet package. You're welcome. Holla at your boy. To here? Yes. You ready for the second round? Why not? That was the end of round one. Yes. Am I victorious? I mean, let's just wait till the game is over. Oh, I just felt victorious. I just wanted to make confirm it with the victorious. score. Okay. I'm victorious. So far, you're doing pretty well. Okay. <laughs> What is this face? <laughs> That's me being be happy for you being victorious. Oh, <laughs> okay, to hear. Yes. Your medium difficulty word for cars is accelerator. 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 Mm hmm. Ex accelerator. Mm -hmm. You heard her. All right, hold on now. Let me simmer down. Don't make your eyes smile at me. I make my eyes smile at you. <laughs> Light skin squint. Accelerator. A C C E L. That's my baby. Having my back. That will look uh, messed took you up. All the little courage and confidence I had completely out of me. He slipped the neck on my balloon of confidence. I mean, just held it. It was like, I just deflated. Keep it up, um, A-C-C-E-L. A-R-A-T-O-R. -R -A no. <laughs> Sorry. Aww. The laugh. <laughs> What? What's the spell of my ear? It's A C C E L E R A T O R. So just one letter off. I was off. Mm -hmm. I put an A where it should have been an E. Mm -hmm. Made it Why wrong. I laughed that hard like I got all of them. Aww. Y'all sit down. <laughs> we don't need no more help. <laughs> Do you want to give me the census, Maya? Sure. Oh, could you give me the census? I'm sorry. Of course. Tap the accelerator just a little bit. Accelerator is a pedal, fixture, handle, something to make a vehicle increase in speed. That is correct. All right, well, look at that. You got half of it, right? Yeah, well, half of it is better than, you know. You are so zero. condescending. You what have I? condescending. What? Okay, that's better. I struggled a little bit because the gum got stuck behind my big tooth. <laughs> so a big tooth and a, a fat tongue, and, and you keep doing these damn word shows. I don't understand it. I'm not glad for punishment. <laughs> 
Tangerine, are you ready for the second round? Yes. Go over here again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of the, the, the walk and the microphone? What, what, what? I mean, it's a spelling bee. It's a spelling bee. You're always talking to a microphone. This is cute. Okay. I like don't it. do that. Like don't it. don't no, do that. I think the idea of the show is cute. I'm being genuine. This is great. Having a ball. Are you ready? You said we had a ball last night. All right. I love That's you, baby. This is, we did have a good a time. Because I've been show. out of town for a while. And so I had just got back in town late. And he was like, got listen, we got you it. owe we me got some it. things. There's a kid here. You owe me some things. She's, she needs to know we're married. <laughs> this, is, this is confirmed by God. It's OK. It's confirmed by God. Yeah. OK. All right. She ready. She ready, Mike. She going. Oh, hold on, my shirt. My wife, <laughs> my wife piece shirt that she could get on Sandrine.com came undone. Hold on. <clears throat> there we go. I'm ready. Okay, your medium difficulty word under cheese is bechamel. You wild as hell, Mike. <laughs> That's the, the, I can't curse. Somebody done brought their child to the audience. You <laughs> wild as hell, Mike. <laughs> All right. Oh, She's had sorry. an end for me since your last show. And it's okay, because I like her. I, I like her. I don't know. You said bechamel? Bechamel. No, no T sound at the end, bechamel. It is, yeah, there's no T sound at the end. Bechamel. Not that that matters, because I don't even know how to spell the first syllable. Um, bechamel. Mm -hmm. Never heard of this word in my entire life. I don't know if it exists. Bechamel. First of all, this show is stupid. Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> because you don't need to know how to spell anymore. This day and age, your phone will tell you how this to spell true. something. Your this laptop will tell you. Why are we doing this show? This is true. You could have made a DJ show. This you could have made a talent did show. All that shit is easy. I could have did Why all that. Why are we that. doing this? But guess what we did? This spelling. <laughs> guess what? Spelling. B Get to I... it. I don't know if it's. D O space I T. Bishamel. B. And I'm not an air speller. This is the little B I. Should it be C S or S C? Bishamel. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to get it right. B I S C. You doing the unk to me, baby? At the corner of the wrong goodness, Jules. Yes, God. You unk me. Oh, the God I serve. Hey, Amen. <laughs> you, you will regret this. Husband. You ain't even halfway through. He ain't got no faith in you. You will regret Jeez this. And Louise. now I'm changing my decision. All right. Based on the oomph, let's uh -huh. go to, and you better be right, because I know you ain't heard of this word either. You're from Detroit. <laughs> you had the Detroit school system behind you. B I C H E. <laughs> M E L. It don't matter. I'm not gonna get it. That's what, I, that's my that's my input. I know it's not right. No. no, it's you not stop right. Stop gloating. I'm tired of looking at your gums. Close your mouth. I'm it's sick of you. I'm sick of you. This is not right. It's not right. It's a, I'll let you know the spelling. It's B E C H A M E L. Oh, B E. Yeah, B E. Oh, you knew? You oh. knew? If you don't put dangle on your damn leg, <laughs> <laughs> the elbow and the leg is killing me right now. Okay. Use this sentence to guess the word. For macaroni and cheese, add cooked pasta to a quart of bechamel and a pound of cheddar and bake for one hour. Bechamel is a liquid. It is... Like water? Creamy, no. Okay. It's a creamy liquid. Hmm. Um, and it makes some bomb ass mac and cheese. Mm. Be more specific? Yeah, no, nah, man, can. I got it. That was it. I'm right. Thank you. It's a white sauce. Uh, I said it was a creamy sauce. Yeah, but, but you the have white to make the white doesn't sauce. doesn't specify creamy. I said creamy. White sauce but, doesn't necessarily mean creamy. What other colors is creamy sauce? As a, I mean, you can get a creamy biscuit. I got that one, I got and I want to thank you all for being with me and enjoying <laughs> today. That was a really good round. Thank you. Oh. I, I nailed that. All right. To hear, are you ready? Oh, I'm absolutely ready. <laughs> Am I winning? <laughs> You're tied. Okay, I'm about to uh, There we go. To hear? Yes. Your hardest word uh -huh. for the third round okay. is limousine. That's not a hard word. 
Bishamel is a hard word. That was my second round word. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is great. It's one of those words where you never think about how to spell it until you have to spell it. I don't know how to spell limousine, guys. I'm just getting it out there because I. Aww. <laughs> Can I give you the abbreviated version? L I M O. No. no? <laughs> Can I steal? When I when I spell it, it's gonna be so bad. It's just all right. L I M O. Z E N E. Okay, come sit down. I'm sorry to hear that was very wrong. Uh, very wrong. Oh. Oh. What what is it? L I M O U S I N E. That's stupid. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, that is stupid. All right. Um you wanna give me the sentence and sure. I'll try to guess from there. The sentence is She's so extra that she rents a limousine just to get around town. Mm, what could that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible it's a, it's a, a, a long length vehicle that can um, transport more than a normal amount of people? Be more specific. You also described a truck. Okay. Mm. Um, this is mm. a, a luxury vehicle used to transport the famous or well-known or wealthy? I'll take luxury, yes. Mm. Nah, what color was it? You didn't say the color. <laughs> Remember all that color stuff you were talking? What color was the limousine? But she didn't actually say what color the limousine was. Exactly. Were. Why did I have to tell you the color of the cream? Sit down. <laughs> the cream was the color. I hate this truck, by the way. I hate this truck. cream was the description of the We're, type we're of moving sauce. on. Tangerine, are you ready for your last word? Color. This is going to be harder than the, the it's gonna be harder. Michelin word I just said. Say the Michelin man? White was the color, by the way. It was a white, creamy sauce, not. Like We've moved so, on. Okay. Because you have to, you make a roux and then you add like milk, so it's a specific kind of sauce. Maya, we've moved on. Okay. <laughs> Tangerine. Yes. Can you start having two mics for your guests? I'll tell you, first so of all, have... it ain't even that much of a difference. <laughs> it ain't even that much of a difference. It's just for the same time. I'm just saying. Your most difficult word is lactobacillus. Come on, have a seat, babe. You gave him limousine. A child could spell limousine. And you gave me the word that's on the back of, like, drugs that have dairy in uh, He got it wrong. You put that sign down right now. <laughs> Sticking you on this damn sign. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all were going along with it. Screw all of y'all. Y'all are my friends. <laughs> that's the thing. I still got it wrong, so it don't matter. What, what category I picked, I would have got both of these wrong. That much I can tell you. Lactobacillus. You got this. Lacto. We can't hear you if you're not if you're not by the mic though. Lactobacillus. Yes. You can take a knee. Lactobacillus. I can take a what? <laughs> no, you can sound this out. Wait, is it? Can I get help from the audience? What did you? No, I said you could take a knee. Like, oh, is just, that help? <laughs> no, don't listen to Lactobacillus. <laughs> Lacto. Uh-huh. L-A-C-T-O. There you go. Lacto. Bacillus. Boom. Hmm? B could be B-E or B-A. Swing in the dark. Bacillus. Uh-huh. B-A. There you go. That's not right. Yeah, it is. No, that's it. C. You shut the hell up. Okay. C. I-L-L-U-S. There you Correct. go. Yeah. What? The okay, Inglewood. Okay, Inglewood. She got it right. She got it right. Clay, you didn't know. You hit him with the oh, dude. <laughs> Shut up, man. I actually was my throat. Oh, okay. You <laughs> know so what? Okay. Use this sentence to find out what it means. The lactobacillus they use for this cheese is only used there. Lactobacillus. Lacto, it's like a protein that's found in dairy. Um, so the lactobacillus is a specific combination of, of um, amino acids and protein mm. that's found in that specific cheese. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Are you okay? Mm. You okay? You mm. have a lot of dramatic sound effects <clears throat> over there. 
Clear my throat and then we play. CT. Yeah, I need you to be more specific. <clears throat> There's one specific, particular word I'm looking for. There's one particular about word. About cheese. Oh, it's cheese. necessary for cheese. Necessary for cheese. Okay, let's throw okay. out some words here. There you go. Dairy. Uh huh. Um. Dairy, uh -huh. yellow or white, ah, you're into colors, okay. creams, right. yeah. um, lactose, mm -hmm. uh, mucus, because yes. you know if you're eating that real cheese, you yeah. gotta have some mucus in you. Think of the um, word. Think of the word bacteria. you just Bacteria. Bacteria. There we go. Oh, crap. Really? That's my camera. Yep. All right, so now we have the- uh, You couldn't spell limousine? I just want to recap. <laughs> You can't spell limousine. Settle so I can push you. Got seven cars and can't spell limousine. None of them are a limo. <laughs> <laughs> to be might, fair, you might want to get one now. All right, uh, <laughs> we had the the lightning round. So basically, am I winning? Let's just wait to find okay, out. Right. Basically, uh, Maya's gonna give both of us a tongue twister. All right, um, separately. While she's giving the tongue twister, we both be quiet. All right. After she finishes, you try to write it down as quick as you can from memory. If you spell it correctly and get all the words correctly, that's one point. And if you go up to the microphone and say it correctly three times fast, that's another point. Now, when she's talking, we have to be quiet. When you're writing, you can do what you want to your partner. While you're, it's called. Yeah, it's called. It's called. So I'll go first, and um, I'll listen, and then I'll try to write. And while I'm writing, if you so choose to let the devil use you and be messy and petty, you can do that. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a... Good guy for and Christian, you know, you can be quiet too. Not a chance. <laughs> All right, Maya, let's go. To here. It is pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Patty cake, patty cake, bake her man with a <laughs> curd of the bread over here when you put the cheese and the lactose sophosophilus and then you put the patty cake and the pad of uh, peppermint patty okay. told me that she better put the curds in the way and the gingerbread man coming up and down uh, Jack and Jill go up the hill and then um, padded bras make boobs look amazing um, when you push them together. I don't, the... I don't, I don't. You can <laughs> what did you write? I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't know what she said. <laughs> I, I got pad kid poured pad Curd. <laughs> Aww. No. That's not. You can still get some points if you say it correctly three times fast. So pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Correct. That. What does pad kid mean? That's the noun pad kid? Pad kid. All right. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. That wasn't fast. That was fast as I that can go. That was like a little it's remix. As fast as he can go. <laughs> oh, so you could, you could go relative to his speed? No, you could go relative to you doing it fast as you can. That wasn't fast. Okay, you know what? Oh, so that's the, <laughs> you just put it for your height again. <laughs> What is a pad kid, though? Hey, man, you asking all the wrong questions. Because <laughs> pad kid ain't got nothing to do with you getting this correct. So you can't write until I finish mm -hmm. speaking. And that's when he's going to start to... I'm not even going to do all that. Him. I'm not even going to do all that. You I might got stuff to do. Okay. Tangerine, your tongue twister. If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does he choose? If a dog... Shoes were chewed by Hugh. Whose shoes would it be that sued Sue, possibly queuing up the shoes for the chew in the first place? Now, this is another thing. How many swishes could a swisher swish if a swisher could wish on a star? That's one way to look at it. How many sales uh, she sells, she sells by the seashore. Yeah. I wasn't sure if the last word you said was chew or choose. Um, and I guess I'm not allowed to ask you. <laughs> I mean, you could try, but you ain't gonna get no <laughs> response. Oh, wait, hold on. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. hey. But, all right. Zip it. I just I thought that she said cues, not choose or shoes, who's blues, blues, clues. <laughs> right, show it to this camera first and then read it. I aloud. write really neat, but not when I'm being distracted and sped okay. up. 
If a doll chews shoes, whose shoes does he chew shoes? Chew or choose? You don't know which one. Well, I don't know what she yeah, said. Okay. She speaks very quietly for someone that's dictating something that could um, make us lose no, she or just, win. She just, she just speaks <laughs> at a normal inside voice. Maybe you just speak loud. How's my spelling? Oh. It's good, and I'm going to give it to you. It was choose. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. The slow cap. <laughs> now you can still get even more points if you say it correctly three times fast. Over there. Mm-hmm. So you have to say it correctly. I mean, if, if you can I heard her. Okay. I heard her. You can I have a sip of water? I mean, we can get that out the show. We would have to bring but it But I need to, uh, uh, right I now. need to be able to enunciate. Uh, yeah, 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 you'll be fine. Fine, you'll have the water right here. All right. I'm so mad at this. This right here, <laughs> this right here is that bullshit. You know what, I'm gonna do it from down here. Cause that's how I feel about you. Now see, this this why you for the mess up because you play so much. You now, did this. You I, put it I, at I, your you, height you, for me. It's not my this height. This is your it's height. Not, was, see, this is disrespectful. See now the disrespect is continuing. That's what you're doing. You had a chance to break the cycle. So now you you better get everything right too, saying it fast. But do you want it to be fast like you're fast? Because oh, I can know, do that. You can mind your business. That's your what fast. you can do. <laughs> you ain't gonna get it because you're being petty, squatting down. This is where you left the mic for me, sir. Sure, you sure. You could have lifted it you up. You don't want me to be down Go here? Ahead, do that. Cameras, y'all got me down here? Go ahead, this is that. where the boss of the show wanted me to be. Okay. <clears throat> if a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does it choose? If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does it choose? If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does he choose? If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does he choose? If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does he choose? Okay. Yay! Okay, Great I'm job, Tangerine. Did I win yet? You did win. All right, this is fun. I'm so glad you had me on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you okay? I'm great. Thank you. This is, this is the jacket for the show? You hey, do this for every hey, episode? How about, how about, okay, you can go over to the microphone and you can thank the people for coming and watch it. Um, I want to know advertise. what you got coming on. Sorry. Yeah. What, what you got going on? You go ahead, dude. I'll stay over here. And do a little, little going on. For real? Yeah. You're not going? No, nope, I'm not going to do it on this show. Just pull the, the whole thing up. I'm Tangerine. Thanks so much for watching. Should I be looking over here? You can find me at tangerine.com, spelled T-A-N-J-A-R-E-E-N. Watch me on the show Millennials. Watch me on Fat Tuesdays, the era of hip-hop comedy. Watch me on Family Time. Find out where I'll be in a city near you doing stand-up. And join my Discord. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff. Love you to hear. Bye, y'all. Yeah! Love. Another episode of Spelling is Hard. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.